Makera just sent me their Carvera Air CNC. It raised $3.5 million on Kickstarter, but is it the best CNC for beginners? Well, today we got it in the shop to test it out. The very first impression upon receiving this machine was picking it up. This thing is heavy. The box itself with all of the contents weighs over 100 pounds. So it's definitely a very sturdy construction. And that was evident upon unboxing and seeing what was inside the box. Now, setup was a breeze. It literally was plug in a few cables and we had the machine moving within minutes of getting it unboxed. And then upon reading documentation, looking at the software, we were actually making our first project within an hour. You know, you don't have to go chase a bunch of extra parts and a bunch of materials, everything to do your first project uh, was in the box, which is really, really cool. Including bits, materials, uh, work holding, and even the design files for the first project. Literally everything you need to get started creating. Before I get into testing this machine, there's something that I noticed that I wanna share with you. And that is a mark of a great company. The negative things that other reviewers had pointed out six months ago have already been addressed by the time I got this machine. And that includes the dust shields on the Y gantries, on the Y axis. Now there, it, it didn't have dust shields and now it has dust shields. On the software side, when this first came out, it was just for PC. Now they have, um, the software works on Mac as well. So any company that iterates that quickly and is willing to make those adjustments uh, for the benefit of their users is a plus one in my book. So what about some of the capabilities of this machine? Well, it comes with obviously CNC routing, um, all different materials, plastic, wood, um, metal. Uh, it also comes with a fourth axis, like a true fourth axis that plugs in. Um, and I didn't do a project with that, I didn't test it out, but I got it out of the box. It looks very robust. And so that is a uh, another great option. You can get a five watt diode laser and it's really easy to install really quickly. Um, you can go from milling to laser engraving. Now you're not gonna do a bunch of cutting with a five watt diode laser, but that's what the CNC milling, the router is for. But this is you can add some really, really fine details to your projects. We've got some really, really fine stuff. The camera couldn't even focus on it. And I put my finger in there for reference. That was a cool test. Now let's actually make something. I've got these coaster blanks here. I'm gonna carve my course logo on them. All right, it looks like this one struggled with this, this different colored wood. This must be harder. And so speed settings, power settings need to be adjusted. On the first one that I did, this was actually the, the third one I did. Here's the first one, great results there. Uh, looks really good, but you can still see that the, there's harder parts in this wood. And this one must've been even harder because it just isn't getting through that. But those are cool coasters. Uh, here's the third one that I did. So when you have CNC routing, all different materials, uh, lasering, a fourth axis, uh, there's a ton that you can do with a machine like this. The price of this machine and everything that I just listed, uh, it comes with as a package around $3,000, depending on exactly what you choose, but around $3,000, you can get into this machine. Now, a couple of other features that, that I really liked was the quick tool change feature which kind of looks, we joked around, that kind of looks like an ice cream dispenser. It's like, instead of changing a bit, it's time to get some ice cream, which is kind of cool. Um, but that's really handy. And all the bits have stop collets where you just put it in until it stops, and then you are good to go. Uh, something else that was really interesting that I haven't used except in 3D printing was the probe. The three, the bed leveling probe. So uh, it basically, if you have any change in your bed height from one side to the other it compensates and measures that before every job which i thought is really cool and i can see coming in really handy actually did come in really handy in the project that we did uh, with uh, v carving or engraving uh, that could be really really helpful or pcbs like doing really thin intricate stuff that can be really really vital it also comes with its own cad cam software so you don't have to go and source uh, other softwares. If you want to, if you want to use something like Vectric 
um, or Fusion 360, that's totally possible. They have post processors that will post to this machine as well. But at first glance, the software is plenty capable, uh, especially uh, the controller. I used the, the controller was really, really handy. You can adjust speeds on the fly. You can uh, see where it's carving. You can actually see the image on the screen. Uh, you can stop it. You can hold it. There's it's not like a stripped down version. I almost expected like a stripped down version. Uh, that's what I've run into before of like a control software where it's just like hit go and you can't really see anything and you hit and that's it. Uh, but they, this is actually a very functional software as well. All right, the next feature that I really like is the enclosure. The enclosure is nice. I'm actually gonna bring it up here again in a second, but from the standpoint of keeping everything contained, all the dust contained, uh, the sound contained, like you don't need to wear ear protection when this is running. In fact, I would go as far as saying is you could almost operate this anywhere in your house uh, with the door closed. You probably wouldn't be able to hear it outside the door, maybe a low hum, but it is not loud like my other CNC's where they're kind of open frame and you have to wear ear protection. Something I always look for when I'm reviewing machines is what kind of community do they have built around it? I, I preach this on my channel for a long time. It takes a lot more than just a CNC machine to be successful in making things. So the community built around this is really, really good. Uh, they have a Facebook group, they have a Discord, they have the wiki page like I talked about, um, and they have an active YouTube channel. And it's not just advertisements, it's actually tutorials. And so it, there's a community of users built around this machine, which is really, really helpful. And it'll, help, it'll be really, really helpful when you get into creating things. If you have problems, um, there's more than just customer support. All right, so let's talk about some things that I really didn't care for on this machine. And the first one being is this lid, the enclosure lid. Honestly, the lid is fine itself. It's a little flimsy, but... It's the mechanism in which you, li how you lift it up and how it stays at the top. It takes a little bit to get a hang of. So I found myself fiddling with it a little bit, trying to raise it up. Obviously this isn't a deal breaker, but it was just kind of annoying. All right, the second one is the work area is small. The work area on this, not much bigger than a piece of paper, which is eight and a half by 11 inches. We'll put the specs right up here on the screen of the actual size, but the work area is small. And that's going to limit to the size of projects that you can make. Next was the dust collection port on the back. So this has built-in dust collection with a dust shoe. Um, but you do have to hook up your own dust collection. The dust, co the dust um, port on the back is like one inch in diameter. And every shop vac I had is two inch diameter. And I, so I couldn't use the shop vacs that I had. So it'd be nice if there, were, there was an adapter to common sizes of of shop vacs, of dust collectors, where you, it would be really easy. So let's answer the question. Do I believe that this machine is a good option for a beginner? Short answer is yes, absolutely. I think Makera has done a fantastic job of thinking through the CNC process from beginning to end, from uh, before you even unbox it to uh, all the way to final product. And you know, there's common roadblocks that we face and they've simplified those a lot. Uh, but what really stood out to me was they did that without sacrificing the performance and experience of the machine, kind of the versatility of the machine. Because a lot of times when you're stripping down for beginners, you're removing features that can get in the way and that are too complex. But what I really like is they come up with a, a workflow, came up with a system um, that still keeps that versatility intact. Fourth, you know, the fourth axis, the laser module, the, um, the work holding techniques, the files, the software, all those things, dust collection, uh, air assist is actually here as well. So all of those things that you may have to source otherwise are all uh, integrated well into the machine. So who is this machine for? If you don't have a lot of space, or experience, but want to be able to make a little bit of everything, then this might be the machine for you. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to learn more. All right, so here is the project that I made on the CNC here. So I milled everything but the PCB. The PCB was sent, 
but I milled this aluminum block here, button, this uh, uh, plastic block, this acrylic that you saw. So it goes in here. The only problem is I've got it plugged in and we've only got it to work a, a couple times. And so I've got a bad connection in the PCB. But as you, can, you saw on screen, or you'll see here on screen that it, we did get it to light up. But just to demonstrate, I got my own acrylic block here plugged in, boom. So that is what R2-D2 is supposed to look like. So let me know, do you think this is a good option for beginners? Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you are not. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.